welcome back everybody this is easy and today we are bringing you part two of a series the intro to clash of clans for those of you who are just joining us for the first time appreciate that first off but what we're doing is we want to bring them back down to day one when you first when you first download clash everything's a little overwhelming so we're going to break down all the different attacks we're not going to really go into how to do them but just basically what troops are available and the different combinations that people use uh the very first one is called the barch and this is a barbarian and archer combination so the concept behind this is that we'll use the barbarians as what we call tanks uh you'll hear that term a lot tanks are the troops that absorb all the punishment from the defenses now both Barbarians and Archers are both one housing space troop, so they're both kind of light troops. But the Barbarians are a lot stronger than the, than the Archers in comparison. So we'll use the Barbarians to soak up all the damage. And the Archers, uh, we'll put in behind the Barbarians. And they'll pretty much shoot over the Barbarian shoulders and, and take out the defenses. So this is one of the first combinations you're going to use in the game. Now this, this attack here... This is a Town Hall 10 attacking a Town Hall 9, so this is a an advanced attack. But I, I figured it would be a lot cooler to watch these attacks than watching the Town Hall 2 and 3 attacks. They're kind of boring. Uh, so, <clears throat> Barbarians are... They're melee, melee, however the hell you say that. So they're going to run right up to the defenses and they're going to chop away at them at their ankles. And the archers are ranged, so they'll shoot over the Barbarians. So that's the whole thing with the, with the Barch is you put the barbarians in first and a lot of people when they're first starting out what you'll do is you'll literally put four or five barbarians on one particular item one particular building like a, a collector for example and then you'll put four or five archers in behind them and you'll see that the defenses will start shooting at the barbarians they'll slowly die out or quickly usually and then the archers by the time they die out though the archers can take the piece so it's a really good one-two punch what I was surprised in is, I haven't used this attack in probably about two years. And I was really surprised how far these barbarians and archers got. This is a Town Hall 10 that I'm attacking with them right here. And you'll see, I just spammed them in. I, I just put in bar um, barbarian, 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 use a rage spell, pushed them into the base, and then I put in a ton of archers. And they kept going and kept going. I figured they'd die at the walls. I was wrong. So just starting out of course you're not going to have the, these town hall 10 bases to deal with you'll have real simple bases the concept is going to be the same put in the barbarians first they run up to the defenses they run up to the resource buildings put in the archers behind them and they shoot over the barbarian shoulders now one of the first things that you need to learn about raiding is that raiding i look at it like a business i'm out there to make money so I'm going to leave my village with my troops, I'm going to go into your village, or their village, and I'm going to get as many resources as I can. So, okay, this next one is the Goblin Knife. We didn't get any footage for it, so we're going to move on to the Dragaloon next. And just before we actually go into this Dragaloon, just to finish what I was saying, um, you want to make sure that you make a profit on every raid. Uh, but by making a profit, I mean if you spend X amount to build the troops you want to double or triple that at least i see a lot of people make a common mistake of building a high-end army that's really strong it's really great you three-starred but you lost money and there's no sense in raiding for loot if you're not going to make a profit so pay close attention now in this attack this is your first big war attack uh, by the time you hit poly town, fall, town hall seven i guess you're ready for some big war attacks and the Dragaloon is your first big war attack what you'll do is you'll build eight nine sometimes even ten dragons um, you'll have a you'll have a clan castle so you can bring a clan castle full of balloons which you can get from your clan mates and hopefully you'll have some hot some higher clan mates that can give you some real high-end balloons so dragons are powerful but they're a little slow they have high hit points so they don't die easy unfortunately bases have air defenses air defenses are extremely powerful so they chop down these big birds real quickly so you have to be smart about them 
you'll use a combination of different spells you'll deploy them a, a number of different ways uh, we have we actually have coming out we have guides to all these different attacks that we'll go in and break down the attacks and explain how to use them a little better but this I just want to give everyone a look at all the different attacks uh, if you're new to the game and you don't know all this stuff there's a lot to look forward to and the different combinations of troops are actually some of the funnest parts of the game uh, next one Goho Golems come in Town Hall 8 they are the premier troop of Town Hall 8 they're Dark Elixir troop they're expensive uh, they don't do when I first got golems. Uh, I I, <laughs> I built five or six of them all at once and I put them all in there And I noticed real quickly that well, they don't go through walls very well, and they really don't attack very well I didn't understand the concept of tanks They are tanking troop tanking troops are the ones that you put in front of your other troops to, to soak up all the damage So so golems are used in complement with other troops. You can't just use golems by themselves so Gollum is a great troop to put in in front of other troops such as your hog riders and in this case with a goho we use we use golems and wizards the wizards are going to start clearing out certain defenses we put the golem in and we get into the base with specific objectives in mind the objectives being to try to take out any heroes and to try to do path over giant bombs which the giant bombs are gonna really hurt the hog riders now your hog riders are what we'll call cleanup troops they're they're an elite troop of Cla in clash of clans uh, the reason why they're an elite troop is because they go for defense only and any of these defense only type of troops like the hog rider like the balloons they they don't have a lot of they don't have high hit points but what they do do is they go to these defenses and if you can keep them alive then before you know it all the defenses are gone and you have nothing but cleanup and a bunch of trash buildings to clean up so you'll have you'll have these uh hog riders as part of many of the elite three star strategies so you're gonna you're gonna hear a lot about them you're gonna hear a lot about pathing with hog riders you have to be you have to pay close attention to where you deploy them and they have predictable pathing because they go from defense to defense so once you learn how to use them you can understand wh where they're gonna go a little better and what their downfall is which their downfall is the giant bomb and the heroes so a lot to a lot to explain with that again we have that coming out as well uh, the Gavajo we don't have footage in this video for that we actually have it I was explaining earlier we have a whole series on it too uh, go vape now, Go Vape is a unique attack. It uses the Valkyrie. Uh, the Valkyrie was everyone's favorite troop long before she was any good. She has a unique attack ability where she runs in between buildings and she'll take down several buildings at one time with this whirlwind spinning attack of hers. Problem was she was so slow that she'd stand there between the buildings and get smashed on before she could really do anything and had to group them up and you'd have to have seven or eight or nine or ten or whatever of her, of her all together to, to do anything with. They changed that with a what we call a buff and when they fixed her which that's what supercell does uh, you'll, you'll notice that everyone's favorite time of the game is when they update the game and they'll come in and they'll fix troops and they'll add other things to the game well they fixed her about a year ago maybe now and they did an excellent job with her they evened her out and that she was part of the strongest attack was the strongest troop for a little while they they fixed it again and made it to where she's a very balanced very well balanced troop and she's part of the go vape go vape is another attack with the golem where you use golem to go in and tank for the pika or pekka sorry i don't know why i have a problem saying pekka um, she'll go in there with a the pekka and the golem and th that trio is a very powerful trio there is i guess the downfall for this particular attack is that valkyries are very fast and you'll use spells like the rage spell to enhance that and she has a habit of running out in front of her tanking troops and if defenders that know the game and because this attack has been around for a while people know how to how she operates and understands that she will run out in front of the tanking troops and if they lay a bunch of giant bombs out all together that can really pack a wall up for her so she does kind of have an Achilles heel and that you know it's her, her strength is also one of her weaknesses she's so fast that she, sometimes she runs ahead of everyone else and she'll take a, a, the brunt of the, of the defense fire and she'll trip all the bombs herself 
So the Go Vape, excellent attack, really high end war attack, uh, used in all town hall levels as soon as you get Valkyrie in that town hall eight. So first, first video is over. We have part two coming up next. We've already got all the footage. I'll just have to record and send it up. So thank you for joining me. If you stay till the end, I do appreciate that. If you're new to the channel, blah, wow, I said that. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to us. Blah, blah. Smash a like for us. Working hard to try to make this to where it's enjoyable for everyone. Till next time, this has been easy.